Last week, we looked at some of the many threats to land crabs living in southern Taiwan. Tonight, we turn to Hunchen Peninsula to see how a hotel project could spell the end of these creatures in the village of Houwan. We give you our in-depth Sunday report. <laughs> In 2007, hotel operators began large-scale development. A fire, they said, destroyed part of the land crab habitat in Hoan. More than 5,000 land crabs died. This startled Yang Mei Yun. She became worried about hotel development on untouched land in her hometown. I'm standing at Ho Wan's natural harbor. Hotel development is taking place from the large whale you see over there to this private coconut grove. The total area is 2.4 hectares. The developer plans to build 110 rooms and 10 villas. According to plans for Kending National Park, Ho Wan is designated for recreational use. Recreational zone can be built here and hotel development is permitted. What puzzles Yang Mei Yun and environmental groups is when the national park was being planned, why didn't anyone realize this area is rich in ecological resources? There's a butcher land crab hole by my foot. If I point my foot at the hole and stop using my other foot, there's another hole. When I step again, there's another hole and another here. When I step forward again, I come to one more. A large step like I just took is about a meter. That means there's a hole each meter. It's unusual to see such a high density and have such a large, good habitat. This place is special because of its land crab habitat. The hotel being built here plans to use the land crabs as its main tourism draw. Something seems awry. Land crabs are their most valuable asset, but they're building the hotel on the land crabs' most important habitat. It's as if they want the land crabs to move, and they'll build them a new home. National Park Headquarters wants this plan to go forward. It would create job opportunities for locals and help the township office advance development. Conservation groups and NGOs want land crabs protected. The landowners and developers want development suited to the area for economic benefits. Multiple interests are tugging at one another. Kunding Park Headquarters wants to achieve local development and environmental protection while satisfying hotel developers. It has led negotiations for more than five years but failed to make progress. Over the past decade or two, land planning and national parks came across a changing social environment Kending Park headquarters responded by saying authorities responsible for executing the plans were unable to change policies. Meanwhile, conservation pioneers had trouble making progress against tourism developers. The problem is it was originally designated as a recreation zone. Developers bought the land based on market prices. They thought they could develop it, but natural succession turned it into prime land crab habitat. Of course, ecology and the environment are important, but the good faith of the government is at stake. You can't find the landowner over this issue. The landowner should have rights because the National Park's plan was for this to be a recreational zone. It's a dilemma. In 2009, the Environmental Impact Assessment for the Hoan Hotel Development Project passed with conditions. The Environmental Protection Administration required the developers to guarantee that land crabs would not disappear during construction. If the population dropped by half, work had to stop. This condition worried experts and locals. Ecology includes vortex models. They describe how populations fall exponentially, not proportionally. When a group reaches a minimum limit, it becomes like water draining out of the sink. Once it reaches the lower limit, it drains more quickly. People need to survive, so do animals and insects. As a place becomes more developed, the environment degrades and pollution increases. Kending National Park Headquarters is at the front lines of environmental protection. It should commit to putting conservation first. Then it could consider ways to best manage this land rather than always protecting developers. This is the question Yang Mei Yun has, and it is what angers her. 
environmental change can be irreversible. Once the environment is destroyed, it's extremely difficult to restore. Young Mayun wants to preserve this valuable resource. She uses ecological tours to show another side of Ho Wan. From a young age, Yang Mei Yun has eaten this pineapple flavored treat from Apo Shaved Ice. It is only found in the Ho Wan fishing village. If we block the hotel, the village won't have any way to develop, so we are taking the best parts of Ho Wan and using them for ecological tours. Salt sweeping is a unique part of Hung Chuen's salt industry. Salt water that flows on shore evaporates after sitting in the sun, leaving sea salt behind. Before when the people of Hung Chun Peninsula needed salt, they came to Ho Wan because of this coral. It's high and long, and there is space between the forest and the sea. When sea water splashes up, it stays in the coral holes longer. After the water evaporates, natural salt is left over. We don't just eat the salt, we also need it to pickle foods and raise sheep and hogs. A handful of salt in a bowl of Apo shaved ice are tourism selling points for the area. Yang Meiyun wants this valuable coastal wetland preserved, so the land crabs and the people of Ho Wan have a suitable home. She hopes one day to see her dream come true.